Hey everybody, it's good to see you all again. This segment is just to kind of let you guys know what is going on in this episode. So in this episode, there is a situation um, towards the end or anywhere in this episode, there is a blank. That means there's no sound coming in the episode. And you might think that is your fault. That is my fault. You can blame me, say it was my fault because that is editing problem and that's because of recording and the recording platform that I use. If that happens to be in the in the episode, if that's in it, um, what you need to do is to just disregard it. Don't worry about it. Consider it like an ad break. Consider it like a break. Consider it like we're taking a five minute break. Consider it like that. So no freaking out. No need to worry. Make sure you guys enjoy the episode. Enjoy what's in it. And y'all have a good one. And enjoy this one. Really enjoy it and have fun. And please disregard the blanks in there because other than breaks. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. And thank you guys for understanding and for your cooperation. Hey everybody, good to see you guys again. Welcome to a brand new episode of Rapper Now. Today I'm here with a great hip hop star with me today. Say hey, little fun. How's it going? It's Nevin in the house. Nice, nice. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. And, you know, thank you for Nothing. taking your time out to do this. No problem. All right, all right. Um, the audience does not know you, so why don't you go introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Um, so my name is Neved. I'm a hip hop artist, um, production, rapping, DJing, uh, from a suburban town in Nazareth, PA. I am, uh, uh, I guess what you could consider unique about me is that I'm also blind, but I don't like to base my identity off of that, but that is the case. Um, I've been kind of doing mu- I didn't really get serious with music until I was like 12 years old when I kind of started to mess around on the iP- on my iPad with like GarageBand and whatnot. And now I kind of am at a point where I put out some records. I've produced for some people. I've I have a former partnership with somebody that I that resulted in an album coming out. And I came a long way since the iPad days, um, trying to complete my DJ setup. It takes a while, but you know, getting there. I'm mm. relatively unknown for the most part, you know. Just some random guy. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> random guy. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> but I totally love that. Um, and wow. I think that's that was a turning point when you said you're blind. I was like, my whole world just turned upside down. And Wow. Everybody okay. says that. It's insane. Um, but 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 it's a good thing. It's a good thing. I'm not, yeah I'm yeah not yeah for sure absolutely. It's a difference of perspective. I find you know because back in when I first started out, like when I first started making serious beats that weren't that weren't trash in GarageBand because GarageBand wasn't very good back in those days for like real hip hop that was sample based. I was making beats on Audacity, and I don't know if you ever used Audacity, but there's no MIDI. And the reason why I couldn't use any other software was because, uh, like, fruit, uh, FL Studio, um, any other production software out there wasn't accessible, meaning it wasn't designed to play nice with screen reading, screen reading software, which is what I use to use computer. So I had to use Audacity until I discovered Reaper and... Now I use Reaper, but people think I'm crazy. I did a whole record on Audacity, and it still sounds pretty good, minus a few production choices. And people are like, you did this on Audacity? Are you crazy? I'm like, I had no choice. Mm. It's the only way. But, you know, not toot my own horn or nothing like that, but I'm just, you know, explaining. Right, right. I totally get you. I've used it. I'm not a fan of it, though. Yeah, it's very limited. It's cool for like, you know, it's cool for like little edits and stuff like that. But like, you know, I couldn't go back to it now. 
No, don't. And I'm not going back there either. I got rid of it like two years ago. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Terrible. All right, let's get into some fun. All right. Um, since you're new to me and you're new to everybody, um, we kind of want to know about your life in music because that's what we're that's what we're here for. So mm-hmm. let's go all the way a couple years back. How did the journey with music start for you? Um, well, when I was growing up. Um, I was always, you know, surrounded by music. You know, my part of my family is very religious, so I got different aspects for from different family members. My mother, my mother's side of the family, um, used to be from Jersey, along with my biological dad. But they both ended up out here in the '90s. And my uncle, my my biological dad, ha- uh, was a DJ. I think he still does gigs every now and again. My uncle. I used to hang out with my uncle and he would play like all the stuff that was hot back in those days. So like we're talking the early 2000s. So 50 Cent, G Unit, Dipset, uh Kanye, um even like some of the Dirty South stuff like Little John and the East Side Boys. I later developed like you know my own tastes. Like I'm very towards like sample based boom bap stuff, but um I kind of got the bug from those two particular those two individuals and it's been i've been on and off with like keyboards and stuff like that ever since like i could play pretty i used to be in a band i used to be in a jazz band i used to play drums i used to play the uh, pianos and the the keyboards and stuff like that and kind of graduated to where i am now doing hip-hop records oh wow 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 it's very musical yeah you know it's your life's very musical yeah, it's um I listen to music every day. Like it's just a part of what I do. If I'm just doing schoolwork, music in the background or if it's not music, it's like a YouTube video based around like either like a tech stream cuz I'm also like a tech I'm in, I'm into I go to school for IT and I'm very into computers and stuff like that. So it's either music or videos about music gear or like the art, the craft, the turntablism of of beat making and stuff like that or like tech stuff like it's that's mainly my life music and tech. Oh, sick. That's just like me. Well, except right? I'm not in IT, but I'm still into tech. I am right now training, well, actually I'm in this program to become a computer technician right now. Right. Really yeah, cool, it's... but besides that, um besides sure. that what were you saying? I was gonna say, uh, I I was gonna say like it's not really as far as going to school and stuff like that. Um, you don't have to go to school for IT for the most part. It's mainly experience that they look for because there's always gonna be demand for us guys that know how to operate the machinery and the computers and stuff like that. But I went because I wanted to do extrapolate what I could from college. So, oh, I see, I see. Got you on that. Thanks for that little response. All right, let's yeah. see. <clears throat> let's see here. And I'm doing this to block out this awkwardness I have. Right. Let's see. <laughs> it's a new strategy, I'm using. What happened? Oh, I was just saying it's a new strategy I'm using. Uh, just, just talking to the awkwardness. No, nah, I get it. I put out the first record I put out was um in 2017 and it was called uh Twilight Zone and um basically it was my it was my we're still cool we're we just not partnered up anymore with my with my buddy Will aka okay, the Phantom and um that wasn't getting uh that was just that was back when I was in high school so it was only on um, Bandcamp and SoundCloud and YouTube so it didn't get much of a super release now I'm at the point where I'm putting out records on uh you know on um on uh on through a wow. distributor i use distro kid so um i should have did that three years ago but better late than never i guess you know but there's a lot of great people out there that i work with you know shout out to the whole underground cooks crew and inspector and advanced and Southside and all those all those cool guys they're really cool people mm. nice, nice. all right um time to expand my list 
by this little question here, um, what is your what are your big inspirations? What inspires you the most? Um, well, as I said before, I'm very uh, uh, sample based and like I guess what people would call boom bap, and that's very East Coast centric. So like a lot of golden era stuff. So you know Wu Tang, uh, Mob Deep. Uh, my favorite producer is DJ Premier. Premier is probably in my opinion, he's the greatest because that dude, that dude's track record, um, he's worked with everybody and damn near anyone and he's produced countless, countless bangers. Um, I guess musically, some others, shoot, I don't know. There's so many, there's so many people like Redman is one of my favorite rappers. Big L is one of my favorite rappers. Uh, like in terms of like underground guys, I never got their due. J Zone is one of my favorite producers. Uh, the Beat Nuts, uh, LP. There's a lot, lot of, lot of people, a lot of people. But like, in terms of non-musical, you know, like personality-wise, I'm very big into like stand-up comedy. And George Carlin's like my favorite comic, and he kind of really molded how I view a lot of things today. Because it was, it wasn't until I watched his stand up that I kind of realized that I wasn't the only person with the views that I have you know and I project that kind of stuff into the music cuz I'm not really the kind of person that likes to get in arguments with politics cuz they're so divisive I'm sure you know and mm-hmm. you know I just I put it save it for the music or for people that actually know because getting in arguments with people like even if cuz I don't I don't I don't stand on either side I I think personally as far as politics go in the states that the wings are just the wings they're two wings of the same bird like they don't really care about us and you know i think i think it's best to not buy into the illusion of choice that we have but now i'm getting into something really crazy deep and complicated so you know Mm. that's nice that's nice and i appreciate your opinion on like controversy yeah for sure that should be fully addressed, especially in music and, you know, sports and stuff like that. That should be morally addressed. Absolutely. Uh, um, past that, um, let's see. And I'm doing this to kill the silence. All right. What would be your dream collaboration? Uh, shoot, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I mean, um, I think I forgot about m but m is i wouldn't say i want to collaborate with m because i I don't even consider myself in the shoes that i'm not even i can't even i'm not able to polish that man's boots as far as i'm concerned so i don't think he would really even want to like know i exist so i don't know man i'm just i'm just hoping to uh you know find a mutually beneficial uh relationship that helps push us as artists for not really i'm not really um i do really i'm a big fan of griselda if i wanted to get beats to anybody right now it would be those guys because those dudes are killing it right now those those are my that's the group like i before them i didn't really listen to much new stuff at all but those guys are are amazing i love griselda benny is killing it mm-hmm. right now Mm, okay, he's a new one. I never heard of him. He's going on my list. And by the way, you can't see it, but it, but if I was to show my camera, you'd be able to see a long list of artists. I see. Yeah. Okay. Like, envision it. Okay. Right. Yep. All right. Let's see. All right. Ooh, here comes here's a fun one. Um, and I love asking this because I love to see um their reactions. But have you ever gone through a writer's block? A what? Oh, oh right. writer's block. Um, yeah. Uh, to be honest with you, I've just been doing production for the most part. Um, just because I'm not in really the recording, uh, the space to record much. It is. I live in a house with four other kids and um, and uh, three people. It gets very loud. My room is by Ooh. the dryer and the washer. It's 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 not really the greatest atmosphere to record in, and. You know, I I've been just, I've been making a lot of instrumental based stuff or like DJ based stuff. So like for example, I did a record called Scratch Thoughts 
that um is literally just it's not about me showing off on table skills it is about um kind of just trying vocal samples from different records and kind of apply them to where they mirror my my mind state at that particular time so um oh, yeah writer's I block i write off and on so you know <laughs> i don't know if i like if i keep going like when i get back into the dorms because covid uh screwed everything up we'll see what happens oh. i don't know people have been telling me though like yo you need to start rapping again i'm like yeah, maybe <laughs> i don't know yeah you should i mean but and there's like two ways you could really do rapping you could do you know being a writer or yeah 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 yeah, yeah for sure you should definitely do that. I mean, this is a perfect opportunity. I mean, we live in the pandemic and we're virtual. Yeah. There's so many ways to get your music out there. And, you know, you should start really doing, you know, getting back into rapping. It's, it's yeah, as far as the rapping. pandemic goes, I feel like it was very, like, it almost needed to happen for me because I started to realize kind of how I was, you know, holding myself, you know, dependent on some other individuals or not being able to deal with uh certain mental obstacles that i've had like you know i have social anxiety it's i'm, I'm not afraid to admit a lot of people that have if method man from wu-tang social anxiety i mean i have social anxiety is it's it is what it is and it's it's almost i don't know if you want me to swear but i was it's very tough to deal with you know it's 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 hard so this pandemic kind of like helped me realize like dude I got to get my ish together if I want to go anywhere. I'm going to be 21 mm -hmm. in June. I got to, you know, now or never, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. I totally agree with you. I totally understand you. I come from a music, a music, music, sorry, misspelling, but you get the point. I come from music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Community, so. yeah. I get what your head's at. And um, kind of speaking about your head, um, this is something fun I like to do too. Um, and and I have not been a producer in a long time. So mm -hmm. um, let's take a trip inside your little head. Hope you right. don't mind us doing that. Go for it. All right, cool. Everybody inside. All right, here we go. All right. So what's your creative process like? How do you, how would you write a song on your kind of producer uh, beat? Um, well, it's very, I don't, I'm not the kind of pen to paper guy. Well, in terms of like, you know, writing lyrics, it's very, uh, you know, I just type them up, you know, as they come along. Um, a lot of people have said, I've had English, my English professors have told me that I'm really good at writing. It's just that I don't like writing essays in school. It's It's a little... But if uh, anyone who's friends on with me on Facebook knows about my impassioned rants that I go on on Facebook, and it's it's, it's kind of rather ridiculous. <laughs> but mm -hmm. in terms of production, you know, a lot of us, a lot of uh, <laughs> pr production, you know, as hip hop guys, is very um very uh like in traditional in the sense of like a classical musician, which I think is why some classic classical musicians don't really like hip-hop but it's a lot of a lot of times you're, you're looking for samples and you find something that catches your ear and you just you flip it in a certain way it's it's very instinctive you find your drums and you you or you make your own drums i'm big on making your own sounds because i'm not the kind of guy that likes to use pack x using sounds a bunch of other people use mm. but, you know it's very uh i wouldn't say it's groundbreaking but it's pretty you know, I don't use loops. I don't use I don't use pre-made loops. I should say. Be like Madlib. Madlib's the loop digger. You gotta find your own loops. Ha <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> ha! All right, I see where you're at. All right, let's see. What else should we talk about in your head? Okay, I was starting to forget for a sec. All right, um. How would you describe the music that you make? Um, I'm a big fan of dark atmospheres. I'm not really like, you know, in a peppy, you know, happy, uh, <clears throat> happy music. I need a water. I'm not in a big happy music just because I wouldn't say I'm not, you know, not because I'm incapable of, you know, looking forward to things. People say I'm 
pessimistic or negative or whatever, but, you know, I personally, at least in this point of my life, especially, I'm not, like, very, you know, I'm like, yeah, everything, like, it's not, it's not great, you know, it's, it's just, just, it's, you're trying to figure things out and stuff like that, but in general, you know, I'm, I just like dark, uh, grimy, um, records, m you know, mean sounding records and that's that's the kind of that's the kind of atmosphere I try to shoot for. So I mean, I can make I could I've made beats for other people that are more like low key or mellow or of some sort. That you know, I'm not incapable of making those kinds of records. It's just that for me personally, like all my records are centered around how I think, and for the most part, it's either dark and you know, darkness can be you know depression. Darkness could be social commentary. Uh, Darkness could be, um, you know, kind of like if you want to just get on your I'm the greatest at this type of vibe and you want like a dark beat to kind of emphasize that. Um, that's that's kind of what my main that's my main thing. Everybody will say I'm in a server full of people that makes J Dilla type beats and I make the meanest beats out of the whole server and. They'll t people will tell you that that's that's kind of my lane. Mm, I see, I see. Okay, okay. Um, a dark kind of artist. I, that's actually new. I actually no, that's not new. Yeah. It's been it's been a while since I've heard since I've talked to a rapper. I mean, not really rapper artist that was kind of dark and had your perspective, but to each his own. Okay. Um. All right, and since you're a producer, you won't be able to do this last thing. Let's see. And oh my god, I need to kill this awkwardness right now. Okay, um, what is your favorite instrument? Um, turntables. That turntables are an instrument to anyone who doubts. Um, keyboards. I could probably play the drums if I tried. Uh. Again, I'm a little rusty, but I was, I was, I was in the, I made it, I made the jazz band early. I was in fourth grade and you're supposed to be, you were supposed to be in fifth grade to make the jazz band. I made it early. So clearly I think I know what I'm doing, but yeah, turntables, uh -huh. keyboards, guitars, you know, not guitar. I mean, drum machine. I was thinking about a guitar cause my brother has a guitar. Um, that's mainly what I use. Mm. Samplers, that kind of thing. All right, all right, cool, cool. All right, um, okay. Um, usually for artists, they get to perform, wrap it out. Um, but since you're not, um, I'm gonna try this. I've never done this. Um, so this is probably my first or like mm -hmm. second time I've done a producer. So this is gonna be new. Um, yep. we're gonna do something called discuss that song. Um. And for you, so um, so what um out of all the music that you make, uh, what is your favorite song? Um, or best song say, well, I guess I'll just go with the one I'm most happy with currently. Is if you go on my Spotify page, which is Neved, that's capital N E V capital E D. So the N in the 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 N in the second E are capitalized. You can go and find a record I did with uh with the uh, with uh mr mr walk buddy of mine and uh Aiden's one shout out to those guys they're really cool dudes and um basically that beat has been in the can for a couple years and um what happened was essentially you know i was trying to put together a quick ep to put out this year and um they took that instrumental and I was really happy with how it came out because um, the mix was great. The drums came out really well. If you listen, like I went back and listened to like the draft of the beat back when I made it. And it sounded like super unpolished and, you know, not like that mix kind of startled me, especially because, you know, I made that mix on, you know, I wear the headphones over the hearing aids and hearing aids are not known for accurate sound reproduction. They're known for, you know, just amplifying stuff. So, you know, that one was, you know, there's, I'm, I mean, there's a lot of songs out there that I, that I feel like I was poignant in, like, 
you know, there's a record I have called, a part of my language, but it's called the Bitch Bash Anthem, where I kind of talk about my issues in high school with girls at the time. Uh, you know, I would have told, I would have told my younger self to chill the hell out, but I was young. So, but it's still a good record. I, I, I got creative with the skit and stuff in the beginning with the, with the vocal samples and stuff. I don't know. This is, I'm not really the kind of guy that's like, you know, I don't, obs- I'm always trying to improve. So I don't really look back at my older stuff. Like, yo, this is, well, sometimes I do, but not often. Oh, I see. I see. Got you, got you, got you. What a nice discuss that song. I might do that for the producers, the future ones. Yeah, for sure. I'm sure. That's I'm so sure good. people will come up with. I'm sure people will have way better answers than the one I just gave. But you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you're doing great so far, and um, just um, just a question. Um. And I might get a nice answer, maybe not. Um, is this your first interview you ever done? Uh, okay. Outside of the camp, outside of my camp. Uh, well, if you count the one I did for school, which really wasn't about music. Um, no, it's not. But yeah, essentially, this is like the first uh, music related like <laughs> interview about oh. the art and that wasn't, you know. But I did get interviewed for. I think it was they were they were looking for articles and they they saw I was like a unique individual that had a unique perspective. So they they were like, "Hey, you want an interview?" I'm like, "Yeah, sure." Mm. I don't know. <laughs> That's a, that looks fun. But um, you're doing great so far. All right, let's see. Now, how comes the end credits? And you, you can see I'm quoting. Um. Mm-hmm. This is when you get to say a few words, a few shout outs, um, yep. any advice. I would like to give some shout outs to um who I mentioned it before, my man Will, aka the Phantom. He needs to he he's too good to he needs to start putting out more records. I've been telling him he needs to get his his act together, okay? <laughs> and um <laughs> I'd also like to give uh like I said before, shout out to the underground underground cooks guys. There's a the next the, that's if anyone from that crew's gonna blow up, it's gonna be my man Inspector K. That dude is crazy with the beats, and he's a little younger than me. He's uh I don't know if I should give out his age, but he's he's a few years younger than me, and he is absolutely killer with the beats. That dude is phenomenal. He's a crazy uh, sample digger. He knows his records like nobody's business. Mike, he, the dude is. Great. I'd like to give a shout out to um Ghostface Miller, the guy who's helping me. He's all, he's a really cool dude and he's also been helping me get my turntable skills up, my DJ skills up, my scratches and all that. Um I could give a shout out to uh Greg, Radio Greg, who is a older DJ who is is uh he streams on Twitch. He's a really cool guy too also. He we we chop it up every now and again on Discord. I'd like to give a shout out to the originators of hip hop. You know, if it wasn't for the pioneers, I wouldn't be here. I probably wouldn't have a, much of a purpose. You know, um, I don't know. <laughs> I guess that's basically oh. it. Oh, I see. And more artists is on my list. I see. I oh oh damn! I have a lot of them. Ugh. I have a lot to do. Okay. Um, and just a big thank you again for being here and being here. I really do appreciate it. Oh, no problem. Yeah, if there's, I don't know if you ever dealt with this, but I'm sure there's some indie artists that think they're too good for any opportunity that gets thrown at them. I, I don't believe in that. I believe that if someone's going to... It's a mutual benefit be, benefit thing. You get help. That it helps you and it helps the interviewer. interviewer. You know what I mean? Mm, totally agree. Totally agree. And I don't know indie artists. Indie artists. Um, I don't know if I've done though. I don't know if I've interviewed one. Maybe that could be in the future. Link. Yeah. Okay. And y'all know me. I always tell you guys, but I'm just telling you at the end to follow our social media. You guys know it's all on Rabbit Out Podcast and check them out. 
Tech Neved L. If you capital N E V capital E D. That's what I am basically everywhere. If you find my SoundCloud, my Instagram is N E V E D underscore the underscore dude. Nice, nice. Y'all go follow and check him out. I mean, come on, he's blowing up. He's blowing up for real. I'll do my best. I definitely don't want to be working a nine to five forever. If you don't, he's going to cry about it. See, he's working 9 to 5, and you're not listening, and he's crying. Look, can't tell, but, um, can't tell, but he's tearing up. So please do it. And, um, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm going to wait till later. And, um, I hope you guys have a good one. And, you know, stay tuned for more and more to come. I'll just keep you guys updated as always. You can find us on Wrap It Up, Wrap Out Podcasts everywhere. And so Twitter, Facebook, and check them out. Like, I'm out telling you guys again, because I feel like you're ignoring. Anyway, again, hope you guys have a good one. I will see you all soon. Bye, y'all.